We're going to be defining Sivid's function as this. Why? Because I came up with this equation and it possibly has improbable significance and I want to be taking credit for it if it does. On a more serious note though, in this video we're going to be manipulating summations that we previously defined. If you haven't already, please go watch my previous two videos in which I defined the summation for an arc sine and the area between a circle and tangential square. In that video, we define f of x as being the area between this line and this circle from 0 to some x value. We also define an arc sine series, which gives you the angle between 0, the center of the origin, and some point on this half of the unit circle. If we plug in f of 1, that gives us this area. The square here has an area of 1, and the whole circle itself has an area of pi, so therefore it's an area of pi quarters here. So we can gather f of 1 is 1 minus pi quarters. f of 1 is this 90 degree angle right here. Well, that's also equal to pi halves. 1 to any power is 1, so we can just get rid of these x values right here. From here, we can multiply both sides by 2. And when you look at that, we have a series for pi. We can multiply this by 4, and that equals 4 minus pi. This counter starts at 1, and this counter starts at 0. So we can't add these together. Because of that, we need to take out the n equals 0 and start the counter at 1. We'll notice that n equals 0, this is equal to 2, so we can move 2 over to this side, which equals pi minus 2. So when we add those up together, it's going to equal 2. Because the summations both start at 1, we can just add together these portions. In order to get a common denominator, we need to get this to equal factorial. n minus 1 factorial is n factorial divided by n. If we're dividing by a number divided by a number, we can just multiply this n to the top. We can then throw down the 4 to the nth power. I need to stop making these stupid mistakes. This equation should have had a 2n plus 1 in this bottom here. We can write 2n minus 2 factorial as 2n factorial divided by 2n times 2n minus 1. We can rearrange the 8n over 2n to look like such, and we notice that this is equal to 4. We can then multiply this by 2n minus 1 divided by 2n minus 1. We can bring 2n minus 1 to the bottom, and we can factor out 2n factorial. We can distribute the 2, 4 minus 2 is 2, and we can factor out a 2. We'll notice that these can then cross out. We can write 4 to the n as 2 to the 2n, and we can subtract that from the top. And then lastly, we can just condense this. Using these two equations, we prove that this is equal to 2. The interesting part, though, is that these are the same equation. This is a minus 1, and that is a plus 1, though. And that's the inspiration for this equation. We know that f of minus 1 is equal to 2, and that f of 1 is equal to pi minus 2. So then the question remains, why is this so equation so important? I used an online site to calculate s of 0, and it's equal to this long number. I typed this into Google just for the heck of it, and for whatever reason, this appears in many articles, and I just find that absolutely baffling. Not only that, but s of 1 is equal to pi minus 2, and 1.4 and 4, etc. also appears in a lot of articles relating to computers and coding. I have no idea what these two numbers mean, and why they are in this equation, so I've been skimming Google for it lately, and I haven't really found anything definitive. So I'm going to task you guys, figure out what these two numbers mean, what they have to do with each other, figure out if they are important at all. Thank you for watching, and please do the task for me, because I'm too lazy to do that.